First, breaking news out of the State House that was first reported on WPRI.com. Senator Frank Chacon has stepped down from his leadership position as Government Oversight Committee Chairman one week after he was accused of threatening Barrington Police while they were arresting Senate Majority Leader Dominic Ruggiero on DUI charges. As we first reported earlier, that DUI charge was dismissed this morning after Ruggiero admitted yesterday to refusing a breathalyzer. Now we have in-depth coverage of today's developments. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell has details on the political ramifications of this arrest. First, let's go to Sean Daly with the breaking details. Yes, as the Watergate scandal famously proved, the cover-up can sometimes be worse than the crime itself. Today, here at the State House, a senator accused of trying to intimidate a Barrington police officer is in more political trouble than another senator that the police officer arrested and charged with driving drunk. Senator Chacon and I met this afternoon, and during that meeting, I expressed to him my concern regarding the events of last week. He agreed that the events were regrettable, and he was contrite. He has agreed to step down as the chairman of Senate Oversight and step down from as a member of that committee. He has also agreed to step down from the Committee on Finance. He has, um, in light of that discussion, it's my desire to make this statement to you today on behalf of the Senate and to begin to put these events behind us as we move forward on behalf, as we work together to move the state of Rhode Island forward. Thank you very much. Please, 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 Madam President. At this time, I would prefer not to make any further statement. Is it embarrassing, Mayor, oh, that a fellow no doubt. politician from North Providence is in this pickle? Absolutely. Absolutely. Have you spoken with Senator Chacon no, since this happened? No, I haven't. If you could, what would you say? I would probably, uh, you know, tell Senator Chacon uh, he should be ashamed of himself. For his part, in a statement, Senate Majority Leader Dominic Ruggiero wrote, quote, I accept full responsibility for my actions last week. I am putting this incident behind me. Live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. We have in-depth coverage tonight. Former State Police Colonel Brendan Doherty announced today that he is returning the money that Chacon donated to his congressional campaign, despite declaring he would keep it just two days ago. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us live now with details. Susan, I just spoke with Brendan Doherty. He tells me he was not influenced by anyone or any media reports in making that decision to return Senator Chacon's $1,000 campaign contribution. Republican Brendan Doherty is now returning a $1,000 campaign donation he received from State Senator Frank Chacon. Chacon is accused of threatening a Barrington police officer last week while an officer was administering sobriety checks to Senate Majority Leader Dominic Ruggiero. I think this is a, a learning uh, experience for uh, a teaching experience for uh, people who are uh, in public service. I think they need to be held to a higher standard and, and I'm disappointed in uh, Senator Chacon's uh, uh, action that night. Doherty is a candidate for Congress and also the former colonel of the Rhode Island State Police. On Monday, we reported Doherty had decided to keep the campaign contribution from Chacon, but he now tells Eyewitness News he changed his mind after receiving new information from Barrington Police. I, I needed to look at all the facts and I assessed that for a, a couple of days and I, I determined uh, last night, uh, on Tuesday night, uh, to uh, return the uh, campaign donations uh, of Senator Frank Chacon. This was my decision. According to the police report, Chacon said to the officer, you think you got pension problems now? Wait till this expletive is all done. This guy voted against you the last time. It ain't going to get any better now. Chacon has not spoken publicly about the allegations that he threatened Barrington police, but he has apologized for any inappropriate comments he might have made. And now, of course, we know that this incident has cost him his leadership role. Live in Providence with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.